man, love the work of our videography team and mm -hmm. good videos. And uh, for anybody wondering out there, if there was a good dance move that you just saw, it was probably me or I was the coach behind said dance move. Um, but you don't, you don't agree with that beat ups. You got, you got some coaching skills or, or sorry, some dance coaching skills. I have zero. Yeah. I have zero. <laughs> keep it in tight, man. Just keep it in tight. Uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of that, what we call the Tuscaloosa shuffle. Yeah. That's all I ever had. I feel you. Well, man, we're so excited to be here, guys, on the national call of the day. Um, Brandon and Pope had to jump off. Uh, guys, they're, I've not seen individuals work this hard, this long, and, and do so for the good of so many people. Um, you know, a lot of people know mine and Brandon's history. We, we go way back. Um, uh, I, I can honestly say that I'm so proud of him as a person and a friend and who he is. And, um, you know, I get my heart hurt a little bit here, B-dubs, because I'm used to getting to chat with my buddy and hang out. And now it's like I have to I have to fight to get 10 minutes on this calendar once a week. But Sure. But you and I get to see the outcome of those meetings and guys, the heart and intent and everything that's going on that's being built for this company and Pope and, and Casey and, and Brandon and Meredith and Sarah and, and Jerry Lee and just the whole team, guys. It's just it's an incredible thing to be a part of. And so um, exciting things to come. I was going to say, man, I, I so agree. And I think if you weren't on the builders call, um, it, th these things have been incredible the last few weeks. And you could see it, you could see it and sense it in Pope, can't you? Like that dude is on fire right now because I think the projects, uh, at least one that I know that he's working on with some folks uh, in terms of what, what he's talking about is so real in, in terms of the game changing, like saving technology that enables you to make this opportunity simple, right? I, I, things are most again if you're building a business things are simple and difficult not complicated and easy <laughs> what right, people right. want is easy and you know simple and easy and that that doesn't happen as an entrepreneurial person right it's simple and difficult not complicated and easy and so getting to technology that has simplicity so i i loved hearing pope's passion today for that and it's all genuine in terms of his uh you know what what the work that he's doing it's fun for me to see that behind the scenes work come out and like I know why he's pumped up and uh it's it's gonna be really good yeah Pope Pope is a he's a pleasure to work with and that intensity that that spirit in his voice and you know it's uh it's hard not to run through a brick wall after talking to him so before we jump into leaderboards guys let's have Mr. Mark unveil if you would buddy give us a little preview about what you and the squad uh have got on tap for us here today Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom, so, so, so much. Um, it's an honor, honor, and a privilege to be on this call. I'm so thankful uh, for the opportunity that um, you guys have given us, Brandon, Brian, Casey, uh, have laid the foundation for, and Todd, you and Brian on these, these weekly calls lately have just been so much fire for us, so much inspiration, and, and though only a, a portion of what's to come can be revealed, uh, we feel it. We feel the excitement, and I can't tell you what it means to us to be on this call. Um, I'm privileged to have uh, agency director Joe Martinez, uh, agency owner Jeffrey Miller, and key leader Brian Howell joining me for this call. Um, I, I felt it was uh, my my obligation to, you know, when I was invited to to be a part of this call, I felt it as an obligation to invite these three in particular because they've been true impact players for not only our agency, but for symmetry as a whole. Um, we've got some Roger Bannisters in these guys, if you will. And it's mm -hmm. just uh, gonna be a real privilege and honor to, to share with you guys when the time comes. So thank you again for the opportunity. Mark, man, we're so glad to have you, bud. And it was so great to spend time with you and your team and meet so many of these individuals I hadn't got to meet in person in Orlando and geez, to hear you all get up on stage and uh, the, 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 the fire that you had, the, the metrics that you speak about, the passion, uh, Mark, I mean, buddy, I, it, this is a big statement, 
but I really think you might have written one of the top 10 best speeches I'd ever heard at Symmetry. That was really, wow. really good what you did in Orlando. And uh, I hope you share some nuggets from it today, bud. And we look forward from hearing from you here real soon. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And that, that is a high compliment coming from you, Todd. Thank you. Love it. All right, B-dubs, this is the time of day when I see if I can mispronounce somebody's name, if I can mess up a slideshow. Well, share the load. You're not in it alone. So much. I can do wrong at this point. Looking forward to it and hearing from the team, the Cook Agency on fire. So much love, so much respect, so much appreciation for Mr. Chris Cook, one of my good buddies and uh, um, probably uh, um, almost as good as me at, at golf. Not, not quite there, but he's working on it. Welcome new first time riders, starting out at number four with Michelle Hall. Coming in at number three, Sean Pope. Number two, Eric Richards. And number one, Erica Woodard Ford. Hmm. 5,972 APV. Welcome to all of our new riders. And typically Welcome. this is where B-dubs, Brandon likes to ask me, what do you think Erica Woodard Ford did in her previous job? Uh, I would say a... Um nascar um like a store um get, get like a nascar store thing where you NASCAR buy a store like where you buy, a nascar trinket store where you buy trinket yeah where you buy like the banners and t-shirts and uh near a like near a nascar track um, yeah yeah from the ford family uh, of descent mm. Yeah. Could be. I, I, I saw this list earlier today and thought Ford's going to be too easy for B Dubs. <laughs> no, no. She obviously okay. owned a car dealership. I, I almost went for the Woodford connection, you know, uh, or what is it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're good. Oh, congratulations to our new riders. And uh, we're just teasing Erica. We always like to just try to have a little fun. Top 10 producers in APV. Number four, Elliot Freer. Good job, Elliot. Number three, Ryan Gaska with some of the best hair in all of Symmetry Land. Number two, Brian Howell. And number one, Tori Willig with twenty dollars. Bravo. Lord. Tori saw Pritchett did twenty thousand in a week and said, "Hold my beer. Let me give this a shot." <laughs> Done, Tori. Top ten producers at count. There again, number four, Elliot. Number three, Brian Howell. Number two, Monique O'Reilly. Coming in at number one, Amanda Lunsford with 23. Nice job, Amanda. Top Medicare supplement producers, number three, Miss Eve Williams. Number two, Blair Kushan. Uh-oh. Kushan? Kushan? Correct me, B-dubs. Kushan. From this point forward, I'm pretty sure Brandon's going to only refer to them as Kush number two. Sure. Push version two. Melinda, Melinda Dean coming in at number one with $4,300 APV. Top disability income producer, number four, Jasmine. Number three, Nan Nancy Hardy. Number two is Gordon Linville. And number one is Becky Snyder. Top IUL producers, number four, Marilyn Cochran. Number three, Glenn Segawa. Segawa. You just be, be believe you belong. Just do it. You're believe great. I belong. Like say it with confidence and just you own it. it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, I did go to Alabama. There's only so much they can expect from me, right? <laughs> number two is Richard Henson, and number one, there he is again, Mr. Ryan Gaska. Great job, Ryan. Top annuity producers, number four, Stephen Missiano. Number three, Mr. Lidecker. Number two, Robert Tobin. And number one is Scott Lorenza. Lorenza. Let's go. Good job. Let's go. Top three debt-free life producers, week to date. Unfortunately, um, Resma's traveling with his family out there today. Uh, his wife, uh, Lost her, uh, lost her father here recently. And so they're attending the funeral out in Texas. 
but uh, he did want me to give a big shout out to all the Debt Free Life producers that are out there killing it. Mark Baldry, Richard Osterhout, Tracy Arias, and look at this, guys. The man, the myth, the legend, the guy with the best first name in all of the game, Mr. Todd, $28,350 in debt-free life APV in a week. Guys, if you will all recall that Todd is the individual that started really kind of dialing in using some of the techniques that the Brenes brothers um, had helped to uncover and some of the new partnerships that we're gonna unveil, guys, Ooh. where we're figuring out how to text message our leads with the proper flow, which allows us to get in touch with more of our clients that are looking for protection. Let's think about it. How many of you out there answer your phone if it rings and you don't recognize the number? Not a lot of us. How much more likely am I to respond to a text message that I think is not from some robot or I feel like it is um, about a subject that I am interested in. So much more likely. So thank you, Todd, for all the work you're doing. And I would say $30,000 a week in APV. Mm -hmm. I think you're being rewarded pretty handsomely. Total top recruits, week to date, top base shop recruits. The man, the myth, the legend, Mark Neubauer. With five. Yes. Look at there. Robert Good Puck coming here. in in second for number four. Daniel Scott Miller with four as well. Top direct recruits, teach me how to pogey with 38. Number two, Miss Princess of Awesome with 34. Or is it is it Princess? No, it's not Princess. It's a it's a fair. Is it Fairy Godmother? What do we what do we call them Randa these days? B Dubs. I feel like she changed. Somebody changed her nickname at the Wayland Conference, and I loved it. Uh, we'll have to hear about that in the chat. I just know the Queen of Awesome, but she's. That could be called is. many, many amazing things. Her book on training is outstanding. Anytime I get to plug it, she is did an exceptional job on that. So absolutely. The queen Always will be the queen of awesome, queen of training, yeah. queen of pink, queen of so many things. Yeah, um, no doubt. Coming in third there, Mr. Brian Delaney. Um, Brian doing an awesome job as always in a top notch, top notch organization. Uh, licensed recruits, week to date, top base shop licensed recruit. Number one, there he is again, Mr. Frank Brenes. Number two, again, Mark Neubauer. And number two, Gustavo Villagran. Number one in the top direct licensed recruits was 16, Miranda Martin. Number two, Mr. Chris Cook with 15. You're about to hear from a lot of the top leaders in his organization today. So fired up for the Cook Agency and what they're doing out there. And number three, again, Mr. Jacob Hogue. New riders week to date. New base, new top base shop, new riders. Top base shop, new riders. There we go. Number two, Dan and Diane Elmer. Number one, tied for first, Mr. Scott Mank. Tied for first with Brad and Kira Ganey. Uh, top direct new riders, tied for second. George and Janet Matthews with five and Kevin Purdy for five. Well done out of the Purdy organization, Linwood, Hi Linwood Watkins hierarchy. And number one, no stranger to this leaderboard, Mr. Mm -hmm. Jacob Pogue. Well done. Never gets old. B-dubs. Yes. What is the significance of this list? I know the significance of this list is this is our biggest SNA list ever. The SNA, the season new agent. I believe there's 20 uh, season new agents. This is a record. We smashed through the ceiling. Bravo, bravo. Yes. Love it, buddy. Season new agents, if you're new on the call to us, this is an agent that's joined our organization and we're able to submit six apps within their first six weeks. And the data team has crunched the numbers and anybody that is able to get six apps in their first six weeks with us, um, their likelihood of being retained and still being an agent and having a very successful career off the launch pad here at Symmetry goes through the roof if they accomplish this SNA milestone. If you are with us on the builder's call, 
We all learned that ears cannot be earned. They are gifts. There are reasons for legal purposes and whatnot that Palmer cannot tell us what the metrics are that we have to hit in order to receive future rounds of ears. But I will tell you one of the things that, that you saw a pattern of last year is if something's talked about over and over and over and talked about the importance of how it will help you build your business, therefore helping build symmetry and building quality, that might be a good indication that it could be a considering factor moving forward. So with all that said, guys, we're talking about SNAs a lot. Pay attention. It will help you grow your business. It'll help you get more agents to be successful and profitable quicker and give them a better chance to, to realize their full potential. So uh, B-Dubs, I'm going to let you run down this name, these names. Thank you, sir. Happy to do it. All right. Congratulations. Well-deserved, well-earned to all of these people. Aaron Guzman, uh, Alfreda Watley-Bates. Colleen, Erica Chavanez Williams, Denisha Hansen, Erica Woodard Ford. There we go again. I think she's an executive director if that chat comment was right. So I was way off. Uh, Jenna Renee Vandestow, John Lambert, Kyle Christensen, Lauren Arnzen, Lynn Bondi, Michelle Hall, Molly Fisher, Reed Hills, Robert Ray Flores, Sarah Ellis, Sarah Lillian Floro, Tara Renee Dustin, Todd Robert Hoiseth, Tyler Harvey, and Willis John Adair. Boom. Outstanding, outstanding work to all of you. Very well done. Nice job, B-Dubs. Thank you, sir. So you're a little better at that than I am. Uh, Weekly I am. leader boards. Key leaders. <laughs> Congratulations to our top key leaders. And they're coming in at number two, Mr. Jama Foot. Number one, Martin Kimbo. Nice. Nicely done. Look at there. We've got Brian Howell up there. About to hear from him. Very cool. Nicely done, Richard. Top agency owners, we got Ruth, we got Samuel Fine, Mr. V Hill, Jeffrey Miller, I think we're gonna hear from him as well here just shortly. And number one, Martin Miller. By the way, I gotta say it, I gotta say it. Yes, I love the agency of Martin, the agency of Valor. Um, it is interesting, I must say, how a connector reads leaderboards and how a pioneer reads leaderboards. For those of you that know our five voices, Brandon's typically at the helm of this. And of course he will, be sure to just highlight the top three and the connectors, ensure, including as many people as possible, just bringing it on. Just want to call out your strengths there, man. I, I think that's... I, I appreciate you calling out as a strength because I can look down at my phone and have 70 text messages saying, Spivey, would you get moving? Would you get going? <laughs> right. <laughs> that pioneer connector voice, you know? Let's go. Agency directors, uh, very nice job. Coming in at number three, Ian Graham, Rachel, and Brian Jernigan. Killing it. Great job. I think Rachel was texting me too. She might have that new writer on her team and she was trying to correct us. So hmm. nice job, Rachel. Larry and Ann Griffin, two of the sweetest, most fun people to be around for sure. Mm -hmm. um, congratulations, everybody. Tom and Ben, good friend down the road. Building an agency, or not building an agency, getting an office mm. not too far from the home office. So looking forward to that and to continuing to beat him in golf and not challenging him in pickleball. In case you were wondering, Brian, Ben C. Floor is dangerous in pickleball. I can see that. Christopher Clark, I think he's on a run, guys. He might mm -hmm. be heading for some very cool top contract level activity. We sure are pulling for him here at the home office. The Godfather Tony, Capistrano, Mr. Trey, Audison Cloutier, Brad and Kira Ganey, number one, our buddy Eileen Balmer. Congratulations to everybody. Managing Vice Presidents. Oh, marvelous Marlon Faulkner, Scott Summers, Mike and Sarah Pappas, George and Janet Matthews, number one. His whole half of us leaders are on the, on the call today, Mr. Chris Cook. That's Congratulations. Good. The dynamic duo airs in Cicely Newsom under the Senior Vice President. Scott Mank. I mean, he goes by Scott Mank, but I think he looks more like Wolverine. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel you on that. That's good. Have you ever noticed that? I mean, yep. I could go Wolverine, or I guess we could go. Uh, um, well, that's that's quite a high compliment because Hugh Jackman is, uh, you know, that's 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 a good comparison. Uh, he's as a good-looking dude. As Extremely opposed, talented. As opposed to one time somebody, this is like 20 years ago, they're like, I know who you look like. You look like Big Show. 
from WWE or whatever. I'm like, thanks a lot. I Googled that and I was wrecked for life. So I, I, I think Scott will be appreciative of Hugh Jackman. Oh, that's it, B Dubs. You've messed up. You're officially know. known as the big show. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike and Jennifer Colburn, our buddy, killing it, doing so awesome. Mr. Jimmy, spill dinner. Love you, buddy. Hey, look at there. Power couple themselves, Kyle and Lisa Kimbrell, making moves. I would say king and queen of promotion mm. around here. Mm. Do such a nice job. Let's go. Executive Vice President, Mr. Darren Stubbs. I always see this photo and wonder what is he thinking about? He's got that little head tilt going here like he's thinking about something deep. And we know when Darren starts thinking deep, good things can potentially happen. Congratulations, Miranda Martin, and one of the nicest guys God ever put on the planet, Mr. Carl Miller. Mm. Coming in for associate partners, Keyshawn Monteith, absolutely lit it up last year. Holy smokes. Great job to everybody in his organization. Ryan and Michelle Miller, two of my favorite people on the planet for sure. The powerful Miss Ashley Tarr. Everybody wants to know how to pogey. And number one, Mr. Lynn Watkins. Sorry, Lynn, the tide will bounce back, buddy. Stick mm. with us. I saw that Rob Puckett was picking on you a little bit on social media after the tide got beat, but, you know, we got to remember Rob Puckett. Rob Puckett's team has lost, like, three or four games this year, so I really wouldn't take advice from him. How did, how did those moles do from last week or whatever? The voles, did they win? Did the Who's the win? moles? The voles. The voles. Did the voles win? The voles? Yeah, the Vols? The Volunteers? Oh, the Vols. Uh, you know, as a Bama fan, it's tough, but we don't really even check in on their scores anymore. It's okay. gotten that bad. Okay. When, when they haven't beat us in 13 years, they don't really register on our radar. Gotcha. In comes the hate mail. Hmm. <laughs> Top senior partners, Kevin Purdy, the Smith Agency, um, Brian Delaney, my upline forever, Sandy Young, and senior partner, Edward Pritchett, managing partner, um, the man, the myth, Marshall Whalen. Congratulations to both Edward and Marshall. I believe if you're scoring at home, they're up to about 17 lead changes throughout this year, B-dubs. They're constantly in a battle week to week, having the uh, overall top production. Two incredible leaders and uh, so, so blessed and grateful to, to get to learn and be around them. So Absolutely. top directs for the weekly leaderboards, Mike and Jennifer Colburn, Smith Agency, Edward Pritchett, Jacob Poe, and Kevin Purdy. Top base shops. It's an important one to watch, guys. Melissa Weagle out there killing it. Mm -hmm. Kira Ganey, Edward Pritchett, Tom and Nate Hall, and Mr. Ian Graham. Let's go. Let's go. Intentional leader. You take the announcements. It's promotion time. Please submit your nomination for the 75 to 85 Slingshot Promotion Elite and Top Producer, Team Leader, Key Leader, Agency Owner by Monday the 18th. Please. Slingshot Promotion Forms must, underline pause, Slingshot Promotion Forms must be received by the 18th to be eligible for bonus consideration and payout this month. And where do you find that Slingshot Promotion Form? We'd like to tell you that it's found under the support slash new business section. Mm. Let's Your tonality is off the charts. Thank you. Well done. Oh, I, I tell you what, guys, I'm just going to tell you straight up. These might be three of my favorite friends and buddies going right now. Um, Sarah and Jamie and always Meredith have been, um, Meredith's been with, in my life and a friend of mine for 20 plus years at this point and the impact she's had on me is just phenomenal and uh, so grateful for her heart but Jamie and Sarah arrived on the scene in Spivyland here in the last six to eight months and they've just really created a wake of awesomeness and who they are and their hearts where their business is going the people they're impacting um, the amount of individuals that they've impacted that they've spoken to, that are looking for some of their expertise and some of the things they've spoken about at conference is really, really good. So beat ups, 
I mean, just how highly can we encourage folks to jump on and be a part of this connect call? Um, I mean, first of all, for the reasons you said, I have great respect for all three of these people. I've had more time with Jamie than Sarah. I look forward to more time with Sarah. Um, but that's, you know, compete without comparison from these three individuals. Um, man, top performers have a swagger that they don't care what other people think. You have to get to that point in your business where you just you just don't care. And I think um, Jamie and Sarah um, model that really, really well. And I mean, don't care in the best of ways, right? Not, we want to cultivate a good reputation. Um, that does matter, by the way. And it's very, uh, it's not a, not a healthy leadership signal to say, I don't care what people think. I'm just going to continue to do something that's undermining your influence. But there is a part of top performance that you don't care what people think. And uh, Jamie and Sarah are going to just crush it on this. Um, looking forward to that. Um, hearing all the fruit of that call. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, can't wait to be a part of it, guys. You can join at connect underscore Quility to and I uh, highly encourage you all to plug in to connect. Um, it might say women stronger together, but I promise you the fellas get out just as much, if not more from, the, from that, uh, that program. So looking forward to that one. Uh-oh, get out your notes. Look at Write that. this down. Reimagine2022.com. Room blocks now available as we gear up for our Quility National Conference in celebration of my birthday on February 2nd. I'm so honored that the founders would do go all out for such an incredible conference just to celebrate this little groundhog. It's going to be awesome. Mm. Mm. I love that. Love that theme. Reimagine. Let's get reimagining. Yeah, it's going to be a powerful conference, guys, all kidding aside. And I'm going to be out there in Denver. If you've not Googled it yet, be sure and do so. The Belco Theater in Denver is a beautiful, beautiful property. Um, Seats about 5,000, I think I'm hearing. So make sure that you get your ticket. Make sure you get it locked in soon. Um, that is going to be an incredible event. And don't worry, we've got um, the new Quility employee, Mr. Ethan Drum, is on the scene. And he is working on uh, with, of course, Mr. Rummage on making sure that we have hotel accommodations, overflow opportunities. This thing is going to be so well put together, you're going to be blown away. And we can't wait to hopefully get everybody back together. That's ASC. right. Yeah, and there was a question about that. And obviously, the, the intent is to, to move uh, forward with this being a, a meeting together, face-to-face -face thing, obviously being in, in Colorado. So, of course, we'll, we'll be paying attention to all the protocols and such at, at that time. But that's far enough out. We're, we're um, really, really excited to see, see everybody face-to-face. Upcoming events, October 14th at 11 a.m. We got a carrier webinar hosted by Protect the Protector, my health updates. I know we're about to just talk to my buddy Elijah here in just a second, give you a little bit of idea about that. So it actually won't be a carrier webinar. It's gonna be an update on um, the my health updates side of Protect the Protector. As you know, B-dubs, we have Mm -hmm. The program that we call Protect the Protector is growing. Mm -hmm. It's a place where our agents can come find affordable health insurance for themselves and for their family, given we all are 1099. We also have the opportunities where we, through AmeriCo or through Foresters, allow our agents to get insurance policies on themselves for the first year, and we'll pay the premiums. We want to be about what we talk about and Protect the Protector is uh, one of those programs that Kayla Rosser, Ariel Armstrong worked so hard on behind the scenes. So thankful for our girls at Agent Success. So Thursday, October 4th, the ultimate and final expense training with Mr. Gary Keith himself, guys. The guy has a true passion and a gift in final expense. And if you haven't plugged in yet, I strongly encourage you to do so. Um, this Monday, October 18th at 12 p.m. Eastern, Making it happen, Dave Lappin. 
will be hosting the training call. And you all know that Dave Lappin's going to bring it. Mm. Next Tuesday, October 19th at 11 Eastern, debt-free living. I said next Tuesday. That would be incorrect, wouldn't it? That's October 19th. Debt-free living hosted by um, Advanced Market Solutions, BP. Mr. Reich's, Reich, Mike Resma, such a just an incredible guy, such a fun guy to be around in the office. And uh, we wish him and his family safe travels this week. Um, Dito's. Yes, yes, yes. So <clears throat> last week we rolled out this Ignite Performance 10-week challenge with our new uh, newest uh, addition, but not new to Symmetry uh, Quality Coach named Justin Finney. You can go to the next slide. We're launching this next week. And we have gotten um, we have gotten a an incredible response to this. Now I was not surprised by getting an incredible response because Justin is um, an industry guy with a proven track record who has a massive passion passion for coaching. And when you can combine industry expertise, sales expertise, even symmetry expertise, uh, because he writ, wrote business in symmetry um, before he finally said, and this is what's so healthy about it, he was. Um, he had a foot in two worlds. Uh, you know, he loved the insurance sales side, loved the coaching. So he was 50, 50. And he said, you know what? I coaching is just my thing. So, um, I mean, we've had probably 70 people respond to these cohorts. So we're going to have to do multiple cohorts. Um, but here's the thing. It is not too late to sign up and we're going to adjust to that. We want Justin to be a great resource. We have two cohorts and I want to just give a couple clear thoughts and then I'll, then I'll, um, land the plane on it. So we have two cohorts that sync up with our overarching strategy under Quality U um, based on level of leadership. So the Activate 102 cohort is if you've written six apps and you're on the journey from six apps to team leader. So this is like brand new people. We've put together this offering that's affordable and massive value add to track your um, the progress as Justin pours in very simple practical tools that will help you get the, the results you're seeing on the screen. Um, so if you're interested in that, all you got to do is email coaching at quality.com. And all we want you to say, and just hear me on this, if you're a, a six apps, to team leader, and you're interested in a coaching program that's going to meet weekly, um, say, hey, I'm interested in uh, signing up for Activate 102. And they'll work on the process of getting you uh, confirmed for that. If you are a key leader, we're doing specifically one just for key leaders. Okay, that's Accelerate 102. And this is really going to focus on uh, the basic skills and systems you need to scale your business. Um, you just simply email coachingequality.com and specify I'm a key leader. I want in on Accelerate, the Accelerate uh, program. So Activate is for six apps to team leader. Accelerate is for key leaders. Okay. So um, we're, we're not going into all the details on this call today like we did last week. But if you email and you want more information, you can do that. But we got a massive response. Really excited for those to get uh, launched with uh, with our new friend, uh, who I think you'll be seeing a lot more of uh, for uh, in the in the coaching world. Um, final thought, because those of you that were on the builders call uh, as well, our great Eric assistant already went into Quillity U and put that the calendar that we demoed uh, that's been around for quite a while, but many people have not had access to that. So that is on Quillity U under uh, symmetry process guide research or symmetry process resources. So just poke around in there and you'll be able to find it. So I just wanted to update you on that. So we've, we've gotten a lot of texts and calls about that as well. So that's it for now. Over to you, Mr. Spivey. And thank you for that update, buddy. And uh, yeah, the response and so many people looking to have um, access to, to Justin and all the, all the great things your team's doing. I mean, Guys, we were talking earlier about some of these recruiting, um, not really recruiting, but just talking to, to people about the opportunity we have at Quility with people that have left other competitors. And when you really think about it, and you start with just the simple fact that we have a chief leadership and development officer, and he is, a, he is putting together an entire team of individuals that does nothing but looks out for the health, well-being, and the structure and, and, and how we all can continue to grow ourselves as people. Um, he's got a whole team of coaches coming on to make sure that we all have access to top notch, top notch abilities to uh, really grow ourselves. And if that doesn't tell you that we're different than anybody else in the market, I don't know what does. 
that always catches people's attention when we say that we're so intentional, we care so much about personal development and growing yourself that we have an entire team that does nothing but focused on it. It's just unheard of. So we yeah, appreciate wait till, you. Wait till the technology side that we're working on aligns with a lot of these things. It's going to be uh, unbelievable. So we're, we're, we're on it. We're working hard. Well, guys, I got a couple of text reminders from Brandon that I want to get on. And then I want to ask Elijah to join me for just a quick second. Um, uh, Brandon wanted me to remind everybody that we are in a five week turn in. Make sure you're taking advantage of this five week turn in and use this opportunity to go break some records. So I know most of you builders and most of you on these large um, contract promotion raises are well aware of a five week turn in. But for those that are new to us, it's a great opportunity to get that extra week of production and to really accelerate yourself in our promotion guidelines. So um, just a reminder there from Brandon. Elijah, are you out there, good buddy? What's up, buddy? You got me loud and clear? Man, I got you, dude. How's things going? Things are going great, man. Uh, is my yeah. lighting good? It's been, it's been cloudy all week in Virginia. You look strong. No, you look good. I always like the background. Your, your hat game is always on point. Dude. I've been fired by you guys, man, working from <laughs> home. Half the time my dogs are in my office. Uh, I mean, I'm wearing shorts right now. Sometimes I'll be wearing just a button. Yeah. Up and it's what, what, what kind of dogs do you have? I got two. Um, so when I got married, I got my second one. Um, and so his name's Joey. And he's a, he's a Corgi Chihuahua mix, about the size of a football. And then some of you guys have seen my other dog. His name is Maverick. And he's a 120-pound Great Pyrenees Shepherd mix. Big oh, boy. sweet. Yeah, if you've ever seen Sandlot, he looks just like the dog from Sandlot. That's amazing. I, lo <laughs> I love those big dogs. I love them big dogs. Yeah, they're docile. Yeah. Man, Elijah, we just we all appreciate you so much. Your heart, who you are as a person, who you are as a leader, and your your appreciation, and you're you're always so grateful for everything that Symmetry and the cooks and everybody else has brought into your life, and just the way you're carrying on your your agency and, and your legacy here also in, in great remembrance of your good and close friend, Mr. Grant. And we just, uh, we love your heart, buddy. And um, not to, I don't want to get all mushy on you. I just, I, I, I lay in bed sometimes at night, guys. I have a hard time sleeping. Um, it's uh, a lot of cool stuff going on and my brain sometimes just doesn't shut down. And so like most of you, I'm sure I scroll through my phone and I catch up on text messages and I check out social media and I check out all of the, the symmetry agent ads and the managers um, threads and whatnot. But it caught my attention that we don't focus enough. We don't talk enough about it, about this protect the protector program. And one of those aspects being that we are partnered with a company called Apex that provides good insurance um, at a very affordable price for 1099 agents. And Elijah, of course, was very honest. He just went on there to kind of remind folks in a post about it. And, he, and I think, Elijah, you even admitted you hadn't had insurance before this, so you can't really compare, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, yeah man. Um, so I'm 24, and my parents kicked me off their health insurance when I moved out. And uh, getting health insurance was one of those things that my wife would make fun of me for because she's like, Elijah, you, you literally sell insurance, but you don't have health insurance. I'm like, babe, I don't know how. I don't know how to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was not, I'm just being real. It wasn't long after that you guys actually came out with it. And uh, I didn't realize I was one of the first people to get it because um, I, I hooked up with, uh, his name is Justin Schechner. Great guy, works at Apex. And met up with them over Zoom. And I mean, in under an hour, helped me make sense of health insurance, which as everybody knows, it's incredibly complicated. Uh, you don't know what you don't need. And it's good to have, I mean, it's, if you are in this company, you don't have health insurance or life insurance, you're sleeping on these calls. You need to, don't mess around with this kind of stuff. I mean, uh, half of um, the, the debt-free life stuff is helping people get out of medical debt because they have improper health insurance. And so uh, for me, it was one of those things that I, I want to start a family. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an adult. It was just the next step. And so 
uh, it made way more sense to get a policy through the the protect the protector program than to go to like the marketplace and stuff. And obviously I double checked and I got a crazy deal. I didn't get like some bottom of the barrel jank cheap plan either. Like I got good stuff, um, dental vision, hospitalization. I, I got everything all in one plan. And uh, it's really cool to do that all in one place. And you guys on the builders call, we were talking about the value proposition. I have lost recruits due to the fact that we didn't have health insurance previously. Uh, back in the day, I would do interviews and they would ask, hey, what kind of benefits do you guys have? And they would ask like, hey, I, I'm a single parent. I've got kids. I need health insurance. What do you guys do for it? And I didn't really know what to tell them at the time, but, but now I confidently say, yeah, oh, we got health insurance. I just got some for myself. And uh, that just adds to the value proposition as you're doing recruiting. And it just covers your bases as a, as a responsible adult to make sure you're taken care of. So I'm pretty excited about it. Man, so good and so true. And um, unfortunately, in my past too, Elijah, as you know, I came from pharmaceutical sales for 20 years and going into hospitals and seeing um, individuals and, and hearing the stories of people that did not have coverage and, um, you know, people that were trying to make tough decisions on proper care versus what they could afford. And yeah. uh, I've just seen it so many times and I've seen, seen the, the benefits of making sure that you're protected. And a lot of, a lot of people are scared because like Elijah said, it's, it can seem complicated. Where do you start? Oh my goodness. There's 5,000 plans that you can, um, that you can choose from. And, and the best thing I can say guys is, is Kayla Rosser and the agent success team, really did their homework, did their research, price compared, looked for benefits, looked for everything they possibly could to make sure that we're backing and supporting a really good plan. And, and we'll be the first to tell you, we don't care if you get the Protect the Protector program or you get another plan. We don't care. This is not about making money. This isn't about selling policies. This is about what Elijah said, which is doing the right thing and making sure you're covered and um, you're never put into that tough situation where you or a loved one's making decisions based on money and not based on whether or not you have an insurance policy. So Elijah, I appreciate you sharing your experience, buddy, and filling us in a little bit on that. We appreciate your heart and everything you do for us. Always, man. Thanks for having me. Love you guys. Back, Back at you, buddy. buddy. Appreciate you. And I, love you. I, I, I said it. I, you, 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 said it. you said it. I heard it. it. You're a pioneer you. connector. Let, let it fly. I got the love. I got the love. Let it fly. All right. I got it. Uh, well, Mr. Mark, buddy, we're ready to bring you on. You want to bring on your squad as you see fit. We're, we're so excited to have you. As, as we spoke earlier, you know, uh, I had the very unlucky privilege of following him on stage in Orlando. And uh, the dude just rocked it. It was hilarious. It was heartfelt. It was moving. It was making me run through a, a wall and making me cry all in one, one swoop. So Mark, you're doing so many awesome things out there. The leadership, everybody we're about to talk to, we're going to see the growth of this organization. We appreciate you being on today, buddy. Thank you so much, Todd. Like I said, high, high compliment. And, uh, uh, anybody, everybody, feel free to friend me on Facebook. I'll, I'll actually be posting that speech uh, later today. So um, excellent. thanks in part to you, Todd, because that's, that's a, a real blessing to hear that. So grateful to be on. I say cameras on, guys, Jeff, Joe, Brian. I mean, th so the way we, we decided to do this, uh, Todd and Brian, were, was to um, post just a bit of a, a panel type uh, scenario, if you will, as opposed to you know, each of us uh, monologuing, which I know brings great, great value, um, different lessons in each and every one. I thought because we've got so many different POVs here and we, you know, part of the secret to our success is the, the culture and friendship that has been cultivated by Lauren and Chris Cook, um, our, our fearless leaders. We've, we feel, and it's been reinforced from the outside that we've got something really special in this organization um, that, you know, that, that truly transcends just the basic, you know, uh, higher, higher build and, and grow, right? Um, th this has turned into real friendships and we all come from very different backgrounds um, and, and we've all got very different goals. And um, I'm just super excited to have, have these three guys on. So 
Uh, we're going to start with just a brief introduction of each of us, kind of where, where we came from, um, where, where we've been and, and where we're going so that you know, you know who you're hearing from. Uh, it's, you know, the, the only reason I, it was really pleasing to see uh, the, the leaderboards were littered with, with Jeff and Brian's names. And the only reason Joe's name wasn't on there for last week is he uh, took a much needed, a well-deserved uh, trip to Mexico last week with his family. Uh, otherwise, he'd be plastered all over there, too. Um, he's no stranger to those. So super thankful to be on here and, and really grateful to be accompanied by my friends here. So, um, guys, a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Mark Neubauer. I'm direct to Chris and Lauren Cook. Uh, they've been just amazing. You know, started out as, a, as, as amazing mentors and slowly but surely became, became good friends. And, and now we're becoming great friends. Um, the, the times that that we've been able to spend at the altitude conferences and, and even a, a breakthrough conference that they held back in March uh, when we weren't doing so many live events. Uh, our, our team's numbers doubled or tripled after that event because they knew it's what so many of us were thirsting for. So, you know, hats off to them. That was, that was a real pioneer move right there. And, and we all benefited as a result. So um, I started with symmetry five years ago. Uh, I, I, I'm a creative. I love being creative. And my background is in everything from acting to improv to, to film production. And I, I do have a company in the entertainment industry that, that um, I, I work to balance this around. Uh, my passion is bringing stories and worlds and characters to life on screen. Um, uh, the world of cinema is a very powerful thing. And in certain cases can completely, you know, reignite the fire in our souls, reminding us who we are, where we came from and, and where we can go. Um, and, and it also gives us really different perspectives. Uh, I don't know if, uh, anyway, I won't go down a rabbit hole, right? I can do that. My team knows this, but, you know, as, as a TV film producer, our business is feast or famine, right? We don't, we don't get paid for trying. Um, and, and it's, it's usually more famine than feast. So, 10 years working in my passion made me realize uh, it only took 10 years, guys, right? Uh, that a speculative enterprise like this that is my passion is not necessarily something you can count on to feed the family. Um, but I, I really had a burning desire to make my own way. And I made a commitment a long time ago to never work for someone else's dream when I could use the same energy to build my own. Um, and I credit a lot of that to my dad. You know, he started his, his own business. I remember everything that we went through as a family and that he went through as an entrepreneur to, to really build out his business in a big way. And, um, and that influenced me big time. So let alone, if I worked a job, I, I wouldn't have the time to accomplish what I wanted to creatively. So before symmetry, I was what you call a serial entrepreneur. Um, I was doing anything I could to turn an idea I had into a business with an income. And that said, nothing I was doing was, was working out the way I wanted it to. So every time I got close to a breakthrough, it was, you know, more bills, another lawsuit, another scandal, you know, what happened. So finally, uh, in 2016, I, I pulled my head out of, of wherever it was, and I answered an ad on ZipRecruiter, and I got license contracted and burned the ships. Um, I had no choice but to print out those leads and dial, dial, dial um, as, as resistant as my mind, you know, body and soul <laughs> wanted to be. Um, I, I got those out and I dialed and, and we drove from home to home, as you know, back back in the day. Um, I wanted to give my family what they deserved and what my wife saw in me when we met and what my boys, uh, Billy and Jacob, deserved in an opportunity environment to help set the stage for their future. Um, and all the while, you know, bringing my film, my, my film and television dreams uh, to fruition. So I just want to say quickly, thanks to Symmetry, you know, after that 10 year learning experience within one year at Symmetry, I was able to procure a couple pieces of, of property. What, what we do in, in my film company is we primarily buy rights to books and comic books and things like that. And then we develop them for screen. And it was time to just decide, was I going to be comfortably uncomfortable for the rest of my life or truly go for it and, and, and live through that short-term pain, which is, which is necessary for growth. And, and we learn that here each and every week at Symmetry, each and every day. So I, I just... You know, I went from putting, as I tell my team often, putting bananas back at the grocery store, right? It's kind of embarrassing when you get to the, the aisle and you didn't do the prices right thing the right way. And, 
and you're a little over and and you just have to be like who, who put those fruity pebbles in there right get, let's get that out of there and and get the price right and uh, make your way out of the store um i went from that to you know big thanks to these guys that you're about to hear from you know we broke through a million in revenues in mid-july as an agency um and we've just gotten an incredible team of partners and friends and and this is what we want for each and every person that, that we bring here. So um, we're gonna, you know, we've come up with some questions together. Uh, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand this off to Joe in a second, but we've come up with some questions. And, and like I said, we're just gonna do a little bit of a panel here so that we can, through some of these answers and through some of our shared experiences, talk about the three things that um, I, I've, I've, boiled down, at least for what I can interpret, to the, the things that are most important here, and that's for success, and that's mindset, movement, and metrics. So uh, without further ado, I do want to introduce my good friend, Joe Martinez. Um, Joe's had just an incredible trajectory here, and it's all because of his, his vision and, and his work ethic and his love for his family. Um, his love for his family is, I, I'm not going to speak for him, but you can just tell when you talk to Joe and you, and you see what he does and, and how he does it for people um, that it, it really all kind of boils down for that, that love of fraternity and friendship and family. And it's, it's just so touching and, and inspiring to see him work each and every day the way he does uh, with such a genuine heart. Um, Joe, Joe came here, you know, looking, looking for, looking for something different and I'll, I'll, Never forget, you know, after he, he passed his test for his license, we went out to lunch because it was right here in Phoenix. He drove four hours from Bullhead, took his test in Phoenix, took he and Sandra, his lovely wife, out to lunch so that we could talk shop a little bit. And um, I thought we were just going to leave from there, but Joe followed me to my car. And uh, I think, A, he wanted to see what I was driving, nothing too impressive, but B, um, just finally really wanted to say one last time, you know, he looked me in the eye and he said, Mark, this better work. And I said, Joe, if, if you do, it will. And boy, did he ever. So I'm going to zip it now and pass this off to Joe. So Joe, you can tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and your story and, and we'll take it from there. Hey, Mark, thank you. Thanks for that introduction. <laughs> I remember that visit. Um, <clears throat> well, everyone, Joe Martinez, uh, been with Symmetry for three and a half years now, um, originally from Texas, now live out in Arizona. Um, I used to be in the restaurant business for about 20 years. I was a GM with, with a, a pretty big company and uh, ran my own other businesses, just looking for something different. I, I made good income. Um, and when I say good income, it was a, it was a little you know six figures plus, but I was looking for something different, uh, and uh, kind of found. I mean, I found it here, right? Uh, what I learned in my past experience was that you can go make some kind. And really, what Brian Brandon was talking about earlier, right? I was able to make six figures, but it the price of that those six figures was just great, um, in, in a bad way, right? I cost me a marriage. Um, I work six, seven days a week, 24 hours, just about because I own several other businesses and uh, just was not what I was looking for. And when I did decide I wanted to change and I shopped around and, and I was looking into symmetry, you know, uh, there was a couple things I was looking for, one to make an income in one place uh, with one job, right? Not, not three or four to have to create that kind of income and be able to do something passively because i've just learned over the years of owning my own business you know yeah, the, that quadrant right you're self, you're still self-employed even though you can own your own business and it can relies on your productivity to generate that income and that just wasn't what i was looking for so i joined symmetry and you know luckily i came in under mark and we're under the chris cook hierarchy with <clears throat> uh really just, you know, I always have to say thank you to Mark for finding us um, and, and Chris for guiding us. And then obviously Brandon, Casey and, and Brian for creating what they have here and, and the system that allows us to come in here and generate the income that we want and need at, at a very fast pace if you go in there and, and work for it, right? So um, I get the privilege of, of uh, introducing uh, my really good friend now, uh, 
Jeffrey Miller, and uh, really just excited to see the growth of our, our organization. We, we've built a really good relationship here, and uh, we call it family, right? Something we, we talk about here in the Martinez Agency now is um, our agents are our family and our clients are our friends, and we're really trying to live by that. And I, I think instilling that culture in our organization has been a big contributor to our growth. So um, Jeff, why don't you introduce yourself? You bet. Uh, Jeff Miller here in uh, the Phoenix, Arizona area. And um, man, I'm just honored to be on this call. It's, it's a privilege. And I want to thank Brian, Brandon, and Casey for building a company like this with the culture that they have. Because I've worked for a lot of companies, a lot of big companies, and never worked for a company with a culture like, like the, this company. So just uh, thankful for that. I'm direct to, to Smoke and Joe Martinez and the Mark Neubauer, Chris Cook hierarchy, and uh, just uh, thankful for that. Um, you know, my past, I, uh, uh, the 10 years prior to coming over to Symmetry, uh, I was a captive agent for a company, and I sold home and auto insurance. Kind of boring, but that's what I did for about 10 years. I uh, started an AG agency up in uh, the state of Washington and built it from scratch, built it up to one of the larger agencies in the, uh, in the city that I was in and was doing well, built a six-figure income. Um, and uh, after about seven years, decided I got tired of shoveling snow. So I sold that business, moved to Arizona, uh, where I reside now, and, uh, and um, I built an agency here with that same company. And after uh, it was about 10 years at that time, being with that company, I realized that the, the income that I was looking for, I wasn't finding in the other agents that I knew with that company. Um, when I first started with them over, you know, for the first, uh, when I first started with that 10 year period, uh, um, they gave me numbers of incomes that I would be able to make. And, and uh, I, I just never saw that after 10 years. So I started looking for something in my industry, but where I could actually generate that kind of income and, um, and, and also time, right? I wanted time for my family. I didn't want to be um, working 60 hours a week for the rest of my life and being a producer. And, uh, you know, it really hit me when I, uh, before I actually got started with Symmetry, I went to a, a overview here in the Phoenix area and I got to hear from uh, Ryan Miller and Ashley Tarr. And um, I was, at the end of that meeting, uh, and Chris Cook was there and, and such too, but at the end of that meeting, I remember thinking, these guys are making the kind of money that I want and they also have the lifestyle that I want. And from there I was sold. So put my agency on the market, um, sold that agency, took about nine months, sold at the end of June of last year. So I went full-time with Symmetry July of last year. And, uh, you know, I just, I just dove in. I figured if this is what I'm going to build for my family and my future, I was going to give 100%. And I uh, just, uh, it, man, I just followed the system. And it's just been a blessing for my family. When my daughter gets home from school now. She's a teenager. Uh, I'm here at home, you know, when they go outside and go swimming, you know, I work from home so I can go out and hang out with her for a little bit while she's, you know, hanging out with her friends and come back to my office and work. So what a blessing that is. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Um, now, now I get the, uh, the honor of introducing my best friend. I've known this, uh, this guy here for over 20 years. Um, we've worked with several companies together, businesses together, and we just always end up back together, you know, uh, in businesses and, and um, I, I, he was with the same company I was with, and I think uh, he was seeing the same things I was seeing. And uh, he, he uh, you know, he saw my success. And uh, uh, thank goodness he he decided it was a good fit for him and a blessing for his family. And you know, it's it's cool to see him on the leaderboard because he's one of he, he actually is my best friend. So to see him on the leaderboard, I know in June, talk about an amazing producer, over sixty applications in June for fifty seven thousand in APV. Man, what a, what a pleasure to have this, this guy on my team. So uh, unveil yourself, Mr. Brian Howe, my best friend. Yeah, hey, thank you, Jeff. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Brian Howell, and uh, I am direct. Can you hear me okay? Everybody hear me okay? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, direct to my best friend, Jeffrey Miller, and uh, Joe Martinez, Mark Neubauer, Chris uh, Cook, uh, Hierarchy. And man, I'm, I'm honored to be here, obviously. Uh, I don't take these things lightly. I think uh, uh, they're always earned, um, not deserved, you know? And so uh, I just get very honored and very humbled to be 
a part of uh, so many great things. So yeah, so uh, Jeff said a little bit, I, uh, I was with the same captive agency and uh, made good money, built a pretty good agent agency. And uh, I didn't leave there because I wasn't making money. I was actually making good money. I was in a smaller town. And, uh, but honestly, I just wanted time. I, I just, I got tired of being in the office eight, nine, 10 hours a, a day, you know, five, six days a week. It just got old. And, um, you know, the older you get, the, the more you realize that you just can't get time back. You can always make more money, but you can't get time back. And so I want more time. I want a time with my wife, time to travel, um, you know, time with my kids. I've got four grown boys. I got a granddaughter and I just wanted all of that time um, back um, knowing that, you know, you get to the, the latter part of your life. Right. And uh, <laughs> you're going like this now. <laughs> so, um, you know, I just wanted a lot more time back. So, yeah, so I, I started in January of this year and uh Honestly, January, February, March didn't do a whole bunch. Was really trying to figure out if this is really what I wanted. And then March, April, I kind of just took off, decided this is where we were going and uh, just really got after it. Um, and honestly, it was, a, it was our conference that we had in March that did that for me. And uh, now, yeah, I get to work with, honestly, Mark and Joe and Jeff and Jordan and Jared Gillum and, you know, uh, uh, the cooks, like, the Elijah Carrillo, we talk all that. We're like best friends, like the cult, just like Jeff said, the culture here, man, if, if this is your first time on this call and you're looking for a culture to change, that'll change your life, it'll change your life. I mean, any of the people that are in my sphere of influence here and in, I'm in Spokane, Washington, actually November 1st, it'll be Peoria, Arizona. Uh, can't wait for that. We're at it. We're out of the snowy weather, just like Jeff, we, we're retreating. <laughs> um, but honestly, there's nobody in my sphere of influence in in Washington or Spokane that I that I would spend time with over Joe or Jeff or Jordan or Jared or Mark or Elijah. Those are the people that I want to be around with. So we get a chance to hang out a lot, which is awesome. So again, I'm just honored. I'm going to give this up to Mark, give this back to Mark. And uh, yeah, I'm just thanks for having me. Thank you, uh, uh, Brandon, Casey and Brian for for this company and what you're doing for us, man. It's it's amazing. There's nothing, nothing like it. So don't give up, keep running. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Brian. It's, it's just phenomenal what you've done here. And I love, I love what you just said about association um, and, and what can be possible here, right? Like Joe, Joe and I woke up today at about five 30 this morning and, uh, and got a text from Fred and Gabby of Roethlisberger. Right. And that was, that was just such a treat because Joe met them in San Antonio at a PCB and I had the pleasure of spending an evening with them and Paige Jensen and Michelle Brooks. Thanks for the shout out Paige and, and so many others at the, um, at the agency owner Academy with, with Brian and Todd and, and, the, and, you know, Brian and Casey and, and everybody else and had the chance to sit with Roddy Jessup uh, at a dinner. I mean, that, that was just, um, just amazing stuff. And, and what, and, and the things that you don't really necessarily know you're coming into when, when you come to the symmetry, right? Uh, maybe you're coming here to look for a better income or more time. And, and yes, culture is important, but wow, when you really plug in and choose to go to these live events and, and be a part of the huddles and, and whatever chat app your, your group may have, like all, all I can say to anybody who's new here is that's the secret sauce, like plug into that because we are those people that, that we hang around the most. So, and we've got some incredible people here. Um, that said, talking about people, Joe, so we're, we're going to start with a question, Joe, you, you started out as, uh, well, I think each of us started out a little rocky when, when we first came to symmetry, but you soon became just because of your work ethic and your willingness to fa fa fail forward, you became a top producer pretty quickly. Um, now you're being recognized as a top builder here in 2021. So uh, what? changed your mindset from really being focused on, you know, being a top producer to becoming a top builder, uh, present tense. You, you know, um, we were talking about that yesterday and I, I was really thinking back, a, a lot of it has to do with, with necessity, right. And where we come in and, and when we find symmetry, right. You know, we talk about, um, our conversation right after I took my test mark and I walk with you to the parking lot and, you know, my concern was I was coming in from, again, a six-figure income, and I, I wanted something different. Um, 
And, and I always talk about mental edification, right? With symmetry and, and meeting these people and, and learning the culture that symmetry brings. For me, it, it, I always, the best way I can explain it to new agents is mental edification, right? Like get, get to a meeting or get on a conference call, get to know who symmetry really is for yourself, right? A lot of times we think it's to, to really, you know, help someone else or, or learn something, but it's, it's mental edification to really understand what symmetry is and can do for you, right? So that meeting with you, I just always remember that meeting, right, was it was, I was interviewed over the phone and I was told, hey, you can, you can come in here and earn six figures plus, right, working from home. And frankly, got, you know, just like I know when I'm interviewing a new, a new person, they're like, yeah, yeah, right. Because I, I knew in my, in my mindset, I knew what it took to earn six figures. And that took six, seven days a week, you know, 70 hour plus as a GM for a billion dollar company, right? But, and that's what I earned, but it took me 20 years to earn it. And you're telling me I can come in here my first year and earn that from home, right? Working three, the model back then, right? Driving still was, you know, run your appointments three days a week and build on, on, on Thursday and Friday. And I wanted to meet you in person, right? And I needed that mental edification. Once I got that, right, I, what I fell in love with Symmetry was that it had, it had the system you can plug in, right? So I plugged in to earn that income that I needed to make. And my first full year here, right, I think I earned a little over 240,000, right? In production, it was like 400 plus. And I knew I can do that. The change that I had mindset wise was 2020 came around and I had to do it again if I wanted to generate an income. Yes, I doubled my income with Symmetry System, but I was still in the same race of if I wanted to earn that income, I had to go out and produce it, right? That's not what I wanted for you know, my lifestyle, right? I love what Jeff talked about. That wasn't the lifestyle I wanted. I wanted to be able to earn that passive income. So um, the end of 2020, me, me and Jeff, um, really just looked at our business, how fast we can build it. You know, we looked at the numbers, what it really takes to build, right? And we talk about that metrics in our organization all the time. And, and mindset wise was, uh, uh, you know, we can reach top levels in production, but I wanna reach top levels in building, right? Because that's the future income that I'm looking for for me and my family. Um, one of the biggest attractions that I had with Symmetry was that agency owner contract, right? If something happens to me tomorrow, my wife continues to inherit that income for my kids. If something happens to her, you know, they continue to inherit that income in our business because what I learned in my past 20 years working for a huge corporation was 20 years later, right? I look at my 401k and there's not a year's worth of salary, right? And, and we're all taught, right? You graduate from high school, either go to college or, or you know, find the career, work somewhere 20, 30 years, and you'll be fine, right? And 20 years later, I looked at my 401k, not a year's worth of salary. I'm, I'm a numbers guy. That doesn't add up for me, right? I look at 10 more years in the future of what I'm contributing and where I can possibly get. And it still wouldn't mean I'd be 43, right? Whenever that <laughs> at 43, at 30 years into a company and maybe a year's worth of salary ain't going to work for me, right? Um, <clears throat> so the mindset that I had to shift was really get all the energy that, you know, I just really looked at if I'm going to work, if I worked for 20 years, 60 hours somewhere for someone else's dreams, because I saw um, the owner of that prior company go from, you know, a millionaire status to a billionaire status because of his whole corporation, right? And we're all working for it. But who was working for mine, right? So I really looked at my mindset at the beginning of this year and said, well, that same energy of wanting that 2% raise every two years from that prior company, I want to do it here because I see the opportunities a lot greater, right? In my first year, I think we got like a 20% raise just off of production, right? Well, what can I do with building a team, right? The, the biggest thing I said to myself mindset wise was Joe Martinez will not start 2022 by himself right? And if I'm not going to start it by myself, who can I start it with and who's coming with me, right? And how many people can I share that vision and that culture with, right? Because what, what I did 
and, and I love Chris Cook because he talks about it. What I did was I I focus on production my first year, right, or year and a half, and right. We always talk about that. That it's funny because we all fall into that same play, right? I I've played into that because that's what I needed then, and I was I wasn't. I took away from my future, right? And I will no longer take away from my future because I now um, I'm focused on what I can do today to grow tomorrow, right? And, and so I, I practice weekly and daily how many seeds I can plant for tomorrow, right? And the seeds that I can plant are in hiring new agents and instilling the vision and the culture for them right, of showing them, hey, this is what, this is what's really possible, because I, I think Todd hit on it earlier, right, um, it, it's a unicorn, right, where, where when we share the actual opportunity you have at Symmetry, so many people can't um, comprehend that, right, it's like, no, it's not possible, right, because, I, and I know it's true, because I did the same, right, so the mindset shift that I did for this was saying, um, I, I'm just going to be unwavering to my to to anything, right? And I hate to say, you know, I'm not I'm not going to care what anyone thinks, uh, you know, whether it be production or this. Is I I'm just going to focus on whatever it takes to build this as fast as I can, right? And all my energy will be will be put into that, and not not on me building, but on on teaching all our agents to do the same thing, right? To for them to build and. and when you can shift your culture, right, from production to building, you know, it was six short, short months, seven short months where I went from 800 passive in January to 12,000 passive, you know, by July. That's insane, right? Like that, that mindset now continues to grow because now it's like, well, how much more can I pour into this part? Because I see this bucket growing, right? So I, I love that. That's the mindset shift that I had, right? From going to production, hey, this is the income I needed. To in 2021, it's what can I do to to grow the bucket in the future, right? That's such an incredible testament to to the opportunity that that Brandon, Brian, and Casey have have put in front of us, right? Um, and, and like they say, where where focus goes, energy flows, and it was simply a shift of, hey, where am I going to put my intention? Where am I going to put my energy? And you have legit exploded in, in the last six months. Um, and, and, and that just, you know, all the way up and all the way down, you've influenced so many of us. So that's, that's really great to hear. And, and, and just for everybody listening, right? I mean, Joe just, just made a small shift in thinking, right? The, the energy he's exerting is, sure, he'll, he'll go through, through those sprints because he's working from rest, as, as you know, Casey talks about quite a bit. Um, but you work in those sprints and you, and you get this stuff done, as long as you're putting your, your intentions in the right place, you can make some, some great things happen here really quickly. Uh, so we all just have to look in the mirror and say, are, are we putting in that intentional work? Right. Um, uh, Jeff. So I'm glad you brought that PCB. That's where we met. And again, as a testament to our, our founders, I, I remember meeting you there. Um, you weren't sure about this, right? You, you were just kind of testing the waters. Uh, yes, um, the speakers blew me away. I, rem I remember Ashley was talking about in that was when she came up with, you know, impact before income. And wow, did that, and that's something I use on every single interview now, uh, Ashley's words about impact before income, because that's, you know, that's what we're all about here. Um, but I brought up that, I bring up that PCB again, because What's amazing about our company is this this was not a planned thing, right? We were, this was something you were evaluating. We didn't like bring out the trumpets and try to court you and have flowers ready. But lo and behold, after the, the PCB, we went out to the hotel bar, right? And it was you and me and Chris Cook and Brian Pope. And Brian Pope just shows up, sits down, has a drink with us, and and we got to know him a little bit. And and we we all had a great time for for a good hour or two. And I just thought that that was a phenomenal testament to, you know, who, who these people are that um, created this opportunity for us. So, yeah. Jeff, oh, you, you had a significant turning point in your career a few months in, you know, as you mentioned in the beginning. So what do you credit to the shift in that business? 
And I mean, you did agency owner in, in under 13 months. So what do you credit to that shift? And how has whatever that catalyst was shaped, shaped you as a leader? Well, first of all, <clears throat> that was pretty cool. My first uh, event to sit down next to Brian Pope, not knowing who he was. Let's call it a lounge instead of a bar. It sounds a lot better, Mark. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, but, um, <laughs> um, you know, really the, uh, the turning point for me when I first started, when I went full time in July of last year, I, I did start recruiting uh, warm market friends, things like that. But it was just a little bit here, a little bit there. Right. Um, and really a few months after I was in this, I was talking to actually Joe, Joe and I, you know, he'd been doing some recruiting, spending money on, on building. Um, and um, really said, man, if this is where you want to be with this time and money, you need to get to the building, right? And because I didn't have enough warm market to, to build what I wanted to build. So I started, I started investing, you know, the, I don't remember, it was three or four months in, started investing about $1,000 a month uh, with a company to, you know, to uh, start getting interviews so I could start interviewing people and building my team. And the, the bad part is, is <clears throat> I did it for a couple months and then we were at Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm like, oh, I'll kind of, I'll take off for a couple months, not do any building. And then we, you know, Joe and I, start, I started back up in January. And, you know, I look back now, that was the biggest mistake I made because I was just starting to get momentum going. And I figured nobody wanted a new job in November, December. I don't know what I was thinking, but, um, you know, that was really the shift when, when me and Joe, we, you know, Joe said, hey, let's, let's do this. And uh, he was already doing it. And I just plugged in and started, you know, interviewing people and starting to build my team alongside me. Obviously, I did some more market recruiting, but that was really the first step. And, um, you know, my, my leadership is the way I've always been taught is lead by example. The, the speed of the leader sets the pace of the pack. So I figured, you know what, I'm not going to tell people what to do. I'm going to go out and do what I'm supposed to do and people will follow um, so I just focused on my production and my building. I mean, I didn't, you know, nothing special. I just followed the system. I, you know, I book, you know, I book my appointments for interviews. I book my appointments for, um, you know, production and really just ran that together. And that's, that's the way I still, you know, lead is just by, you know, I try to set the best example with my schedule, with my production, you know, with my just, uh, you know, leading from the front. And hopefully people like Brian Howe are going to pass me. And that's my goal. But, um, you know, that, that's really the biggest change. And that was really just, you know, Joe and I, we just honed in on let's, let's build, man. Let's just do this. Uh, I love let, let me add to that, Mark, right? Um, what Jeff was practicing, right, when we looked at those basics was, you know, he filled those two boxes Casey talks about, right? He, he went out and produced 20 plus a month. And he was always, you know, shooting for the 20 contracts for the month, right? We, we put those matrix metrics to the test, right? And he filled his APV and he filled his, his recruits and the results were there, right? And he, that man schedule wise, right? Because I always see the struggle when, when we're going from production to building and how we fit that. He, he lives by his schedule and, and that's always been a huge, you know, contributing factor to his growth. Like, he, if it's dial time, it's dial time, right? If it's building time, it's building time. He, you know, when he has his interviews, he's in interview mode, right? When he's running production, he's in production mode and, and just a true, you know, Titan to building and recruiting at the same time. And, and I learn so much every day, just watching him, you know, work his schedule and the way he honors it and respects it. So. Yeah, that's right. That's it's it's seriously impressive uh, watching Jeff work. Je Jeff and Elijah, uh, who we just heard from Elijah Crudo, Jeff and Elijah have taught taught me the most about schedule, and that's what's so amazing about building. Right? Is you you become challenged and inspired by people that you hire, right? And and other leaderships, um, what what they're doing with their people. As long as you're paying attention, there's there's just so much you can learn by even. A brand new agent asking you a question that maybe you've never been asked before so it also expedites your 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 growth here overall not not just because of the obvious right i've got i've got you know more agents on my team and more people are doing this it's all about that exponential uh factor that comes in just working working and, and building yourself and being a good leader so brian i can never hear enough from you um i love <laughs> i 
And I love, I love, love, love your spirit. I love your sense of humor. And I love, you know, without putting words in your mouth, you know, what's fun about Brian is I love seeing your wheel spin because whenever anybody wants to ask Brian, like, what's the secret to your success? What's, <laughs> how do you do what you do? What do you, he just spits out the obvious, right? You just work, right? We, we've got metrics here. <laughs> you, 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 you follow the metrics and, and you're going to win. Um, but this is also an, an emotionally tough position, right? Uh, for many, uh, for, for yeah. Brian Howard, Terminator, we're not saying he, he loves every single aspect of what needs to be done to get it done, but he does it right. And, and that's why you are like the T2000, not that, not that old school <laughs> model. <laughs> oh man. It's, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Work, man. Um, so, and, and. So I have a question for you, given that, right, because I know it, it definitely still takes some, some elements that we all share. Uh, Chris Cook introduced us to a really great book this month, um, Willpower Doesn't Work by Benjamin Hardy, right? And I have to admit, five years in, I'm, I'm reading the books of the month, I'm growing, I'm loving it. I actually attribute book of the month to, to my personal development growth here, especially in the first year, more than anything else. So if you're not reading... Um, you're not growing. Um, and I'd like to quote the great Brandon Ellison earlier. He said, if you ain't growing, you dying. So, right. You want to grow or die, read those books. That said, this book talks a lot about in environment and how, how environment is really the key to, to yeah. building who you are, right. And what you do. So how important is your personal environment to success in your business? And what have you done to cultivate an, an environment for success? You know, what, what is that secret sauce for, for Brian? Yeah, I, I, I think it's a couple of things. I think you have your physical environment, right? You know, around you and what that looks like. And then you have your, your emotional, your spiritual environment, the people you surround yourself with, right? So as, as far as personally goes, right? Um, you know, my office is very clean. It's very organized. I, I, um, and I treat my office as a work sanctuary, if you will, like nothing else happens in here, right? And I don't get up in the morning and come in, a, in with sweatpants on at work. I don't do that, right? I mean, this job is hard. Let's be honest. I mean, uh, it is hard work to produce, right? Even 15, you know, thousand a month. That's, it's hard work. And so it requires um, your environment to be right. So, you know, I get up in the morning, I get showered I, and I get dressed like I'm, like I'm leaving, you know, to go somewhere. Um, and, and I come into my office and I treat it as this work sanctuary, right? So my personal environment, I close my door, I have notes on it, don't bother me on this, on that. And I take it very, very seriously because there's so many distractions to your environment, your physical environment, right? If you allow those things to distract you. The good news is that's why Joe does, that's why Joe has an office because he could never work at home because he's got kids running around like crazy, right? He <laughs> just said, possible. I don't have kids running around, right? But my uh, my granddaughter was staying with us for a while, and that was made it very difficult, right? I literally had to close my door on her. But your environment is so important, you know, to success. And um, I tell P, I just told one of my agents the other day. I said, "Listen, he's having a hard time." I said, "Listen, if get up in the morning, get dressed, get showered this night, get in your car, drive around the block, and pull back into your driveway like <laughs> like you left and went to work, right?" Because he's like, "I just feel like I have to go somewhere." And then, and then get somewhere. And I was like, okay, well, just drive around the block, man. Like mentally, like your mindset, like we're talking about, just get out of that mode. So um, you got to eliminate distractions. And then your spiritual, you know, environment, you know, the people that you surround yourself. I am surrounded by the best people I know. I just am. I'm surrounded by Jeff and Joe and yourself, the Gillums, the Cooks, right? The Carujos, right? Uh, Val Zarn, like I am surrounded by these people that just matter, right? So it's the age old, I was in ministry for a lot of years. It's the age old saying I used to say as a youth pastor, show me your five closest friends. I'll show you where you're headed, right? So surround yourself, your environment with the right people and like get rid of vampire, you know, vampires, emotional vampires, right? Get rid of those, you know? Um, so yeah, your environment's got to be right. Physical and spiritual environment's got to be right in order to be successful, or you'll you'll just be like this. This will be an emotional roller coaster, and you won't last. Uh, Mark, I got a question for you. Um, yeah. How do you balance your mindset uh, running other businesses and symmetry with success you're having? Because you're involved in a lot of things, man. Like you've got tons of you've got kids, 
got a, a wonderful wife, right? And Gula, and then you got a production company and then, and you are a creative person. Like going back to what Todd said, like your speech was incredible, right? Just knocked, you know, knocked everyone over and that's just your creative personality. So how do you, how do you balance all that, man? Well, thank you. Thanks, Brian. It's, uh, did you see my face deflate when you, when you brought all that stuff up? No, it's, uh, <laughs> like, you know, like, like Brian Williamson said, and first of all, thanks for the, 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 thanks for your perspective on environment. I love that you brought up spiritual environment because environment, sure, a lot of us have, have made our own spaces so that we can have that, that sanctuary for work, but we, we, everyone should be growing in from inside out not outside in right um we cannot let our circumstances uh, affect control us we must act in spite of our circumstances right so um real quick if i can add to that one one of the biggest things for me in, in terms of environment is that garden in our mind right so i you know part of and this this in part answers your your question brian i arm myself with with mindset almost to a ridiculous level, because you know the the, the fact is it, it takes approximately seven positive words or occurrences to outweigh one negative setback or or you know name calling or shaming or something like that, right? Um, yeah, shame being the most painful of, of all they say, um, and I, I I would probably agree with that. Um, so I arm myself with affirmations in the morning. I mean, there are a lot of, of great affirmation things on, on SoundCloud. I know Elijah Carujo has been going on prayer walks every morning. Uh, I even go to bed listening to certain frequencies. Do they work? I don't know, but I feel amazing in the morning. So yeah, man, when I'm and when I'm down, Mark, like I play music, the right kind of music, right. To lift me up. And if I'm fired up, then I play that kind of, I'll play some Metallica, like, let's go. Right. Like just, <laughs> It just matters, right? I think the age-old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, like you just said, right? You need all these. That's a lie. That's the biggest lie we've ever bought into, right? Because words do hurt. So you need those affirmations, right? They really just pick you up. That's your spiritual environment. You're so right. Absolutely. And that, you know, that is the, that is the, the, how I keep balance with the various businesses like, like, you know, and, and that's how I am learning a lot from Jeff and Elijah in terms of scheduling. I have color blocks on my calendar in which if I'm working on, you know, film and TV through Arowana and Mike the Pike, then that's, you know, that's, that's my green. If I'm working on my symmetry business, that's my blue. And if I'm handling the press release business, that's, that's in pink. And so I can look at that calendar and know this is where I'm going to be intentional. This is where I'm going to focus and I'm not, you know, letting, letting the, letting there be any crossover there so that I can stay fully, fully intentional and, and fully committed. And again, like Brian Williamson said earlier, you know, burnout cannot coexist with, with passion. And I've, I've got passion for, for what I do. And, you know, when it comes to symmetry business to each and all, right. And, and maybe you do have other passions outside of symmetry like I do, you know, I, I, I'll admit full out, I came to symmetry initially for the income. I didn't care about anything else, you know, Hey, do you know, we have this, we now have that. Um, very soon after I became what, what, what stuck for me was the culture, the association. And I noticed very quickly, three, four months in the personal development here was causing me. I mean, when I go back to emails and correspondences and little business fights and things like that, that maybe I had prior to symmetry, it's, it's embarrassing. Uh, right. And the, the personal development and everything that, that, that I started really embracing and receiving from symmetry is what caused success in those other businesses. So, I mean, therein lies, therein lies the only crossover. So I just say to anybody and everybody that's here, I mean, that, that maybe is, is like me and you came here initially as to, to find fuel for another passion, um, that's fantastic. But you got to find your passion within symmetry to make that work, right? And my passion for symmetry very quickly um, was, was <laughs> from the ability to know that I can plug into a group of people that, you know, that, that like I said in, in, at conference, the curtain never pulled back, right? The, the masks never came off because there, there were no masks. These are who these people are. 
this is who symmetry is. And Brian, Brandon, and Casey, and, and everyone else in, in the corporate office, and, and, and Meredith with everything that, that she does with um, growth and meditation and mindset, all that stuff plays into a machine that is impenetrable. Toxicity does not survive here. Toxic people cannot breathe here. Um, they don't last very long. And I love that. I love being a part of this community. And that's what fires me up. Um, and it's what and, and it's what causes me to have fire for, for my other businesses outside the obvious, you know, passions I, I have there separately. So I I can I can't say it too many times from from my observation in the last five years, the the, the most valuable thing that you can do is plug in here and be a part of your team huddles go to those live events if you are not scheduled if you're, if you're not registered for national conference you're, you're you're not in this yet you're, you're not even in it um you you got you got to plug in and be part of these live events and be around these people that will impact you in ways that you just have to trust you cannot imagine right so right. Uh, uh, Joe, I've got a question for you. Uh, so you, you guys have such a tip top culture inside the, the Martinez Miller Howell organization. And we've seen it on the team calls. I see it on your dial teams. Um, Brian, Joe and Jeff have recently uh, just by their own volition um, initiated production trainings on Thursdays for our team. And not just for our team, for everybody. And again, that's what's so great about the Cook Group is we, you know, all in line with Chris and Lauren's culture, we share and share alike and we're a big family. So Joe, how do you ensure your organization and the activities within? Because we got a lot of pioneers in our groups and we got a lot of thinkers and we got a lot of innovators. How do you ensure that your organization and the activities are, are aligned with SFG core values? Yeah, I love that question. Um, <clears throat> It was a struggle I went with at the beginning with, uh, I think everyone does it, right? We come in here with a different mindset of, I can do something better. And really it just, watching our growth, looking at our numbers and knowing the, the metrics, right? Of what works, we just stay in line with that, right? So to help build that culture, we just teach what symmetry teaches, right? It's how much of, the symmetry system can we put in front of our agents? And that's, I think, truly what's changing the culture and keeping that culture alive inside our, our, our organization. But more than anything, I think that's what's planting seeds in a lot of brand new agents, right? From the very beginning, we're able to plug in a new agent, you know, either to our huddle up calls, um, e either into symmetry training, right? With, with whatever conference call we have going on. But then them just knowing that the mentorship is here, right? Because that was a big catalyst for me. I was looking for somewhere when I came to Symmetry was I've never done insurance, right? I, I sold steak and beer for 20 years and it was where, where am I going to learn to be an insurance agent, right? Like, how do I learn how to build an organization, right? It, it was very, I wouldn't say intimidating, but it was completely new to me, right? And I wanted someone that I can pick up the phone or, you know, uh, reach out and communicate with and say, hey, how does this work? Where do I get an answer from here? Or where do I get an answer from here, right? That, that was the biggest one, right? Like, show me where I can find this information. And that was huge because I was able, I was guided to the answers, right? Like, hey, you, you can go into the Symmetry website. This is here. This, you know, if you need production, we got SoundCloud audios, right? If you're you know, working older, Lee, I, I love the saying, right? There, there's a SoundCloud for any, anything you need, right? Like, hey, I'm struggling working older leads. Well, there's a SoundCloud called working older leads, right? Hey, I'm struggling booking appointments, right? Well, there's a SoundCloud how to, how to book appointments, right? And, and that was so true in our system. And we just put that in front of our agents, right? Like the, the culture that Jeffrey instills in his agency and Brian into his and, and and as, a, as an organization, how we do it is we just put symmetry in front of them so many times. There's nowhere for them to go, right? Uh, I, I love whoever said it earlier, I'm already getting a blur, was uh, I, I think it was Meredith, right? It's, you got to hear something seven times, right? For it to come true or, or for, for you to understand what's being told to you. 
I love that, right? It's, you know, hey, here's the best system, right? Here's the best system, right? Here's the best system, right? Read through it, get, get this in front of you, get that training done. Um, I, I think, you know, in this org, in, in this industry, right, from being a job to a, to a 1099 position of owning your own businesses, there's, there's a huge gap of what one should be doing and one expecting to be told what to do, right? And a lot of times, I think just, just a lot of our agents are, are just waiting to be told what to do, right? They, we talk so much about the way we were trained, right? And, and the way our brains are programmed. And I just realized because I've been on both sides of it at the same time, a lot of my life, right? I've owned my own business and I worked for someone. So I understand both of them, I think a little bit better than a lot uh, of other folks. And it's always the thought that, we, we think people are, are like us, right? And, and that they're just going to get the idea of saying, hey, okay, so let me go find this. I think a lot of us forget that sometimes they've never had that opportunity, right? Doesn't mean they won't do it, but they don't, they've never had the opportunity to go find the, these results on their own, but they still need to be shown the door, right? And here, what, we're, what we practice on our organization is we just put the door, as many doors as we can in front of them, right? And, and we don't do anything different other than show them symmetry, right? Put the symmetry system in front of your agents as much as you can, right? There, there's, you know, from Quility U, from, you know, our, our training calls on Monday, from if you want to learn DFL, right? You, whatever they, can, they possibly want, it's in front of them. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of showing an agent the door, right? And... and I think Brian Howe said it best at, at our last conference, right? We're a hundred percent committed to our agents to, if someone's not going to make it here, it's not because they didn't have a leader to show them the way, right? right? So we're just fighting to be the best leaders that we can. And, you know, just thanks to symmetry, we have things to plug in to make us better leaders. And, and that's what we practice best as leaders. So. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. The resources we have here and even the, you know, the coaching program that, you know, that Brian's cultivated here for, for advanced uh, le leadership uh, development, things like that. And hats off to you, man. Um, I don't wear hats, but if I did, I would, I would take it off for you um, because it's, it's pretty incredible what we have here. Uh, uh, how are we doing, Brian? We could talk all day. You, you could talk all day. And uh, gosh, it's been so just practical, culture consistent, uh, inspirational. So no, yeah, feel free if you have any final thoughts. And I think uh, you, you've you've poured in tons of value. So yeah. Well, thank you so much. I guess the the last thing you know we've we've that I'd like to ask just to skip past a few questions in in respect to time and and this opportunity that you've all given us. Thank you so much for giving us this this time together with you. I hope we've brought some some value and some nuggets that maybe uh, went went from anything that got somebody to say, hey, let's get going to maybe it was even an aha moment or an epiphany of sorts, right? But I'd like to ask these guys, you know, what what do you, I feel I've, I, I'll skip me here because I think I've gone over it a few times through some of the things I've said, but guys, one at a time, what, what advice can you give to a new agent here at Symmetry? This might be somebody's first call. Um, this might be drinking from a fire hose. For some, it might be a little redundancy, but a brand new agent coming in, you know, what, what advice can, can you give somebody so that they can experience the kind of career trajectory that, that you guys have? Yeah, go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I, my, my advice would be just to, to stick to the, 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 the basics in the system, right? Uh, we, we try to uh, make this bigger than it really is. It's really not. I mean, Symmetry's put a system there for us. We have the matrix for the numbers. One of the biggest things that helped me in the beginning um, when I was calling to book an appointments is knowing the numbers, right? Because I knew if I, if I was buying A1 leads, I had to talk to so many people to book so many appointments. And in the beginning, you know, I thought, man, I'm, I'm really not very good at this, which I wasn't, but I was better than I thought it was because I looked at the matrix, right? The, the metrics to see what the numbers should be. And knowing those numbers really help you, I think, on a mental basis, just to keep plunging forward and moving forward. And uh, probably the biggest thing I could say, because this is a very simple business, but it's not easy, you know, don't let your emotions get in the way of your finances, because you're going to ride a roller coaster when you're building this business. The neat thing about it is that I'm finding out is the bigger your business gets, those roller coasters 
right? They're, they're more level, right? The little bumps in the road. So just, uh, you know, don't let your emotions get in the way. Focus on the system. Symmetry is not where it's at because the system doesn't work. It's the best system out there. That's why other, other agents from other companies are wanting to come over to Symmetry because we have that system. We have that culture. And last thing I'll leave with is the other company I left for selling the, that I was selling home and auto insurance. I left that because um, the numbers they told me weren't true, right? They told me if I did this, I would make this much income. My gross income might have been what they said, but the net was not even close. And being on the builder's call today, it just sunk into me that, wow, it was, it was the same thing. And I was selling home and auto insurance, completely different, but I was in the top, there was, there was about 12,000 agents with the company I worked for. I was in the top, you know, couple hundred agents for new business, yet I wasn't getting the results with the income for my family that they told me I would. So follow this symmetry system, and I'm a testament that it works. The net income is there. It just, just, man, it's just a great team to be part of. I'm just thankful and honored to be here. And I'll leave you with this just really quickly. I, don't quit. Just don't, just don't quit, right? There, there's an investment to everything that you do, whether that's financial, emotional, right? There's always an investment. There's always a price to pay, right? And I was very successful as a captive agent, um, but I had to make some changes, right? In my heart and the way that I approach this business, you just do, but don't quit. You got about a four. I mean, if you're committed to, to this business, you have a, a four to six week time period, right? That, that you are going to have to grind <laughs> for four to six weeks, right? And then all of a sudden, about that five, six week period, you're going to start coming out of the, the fog. You're going to start knowing what you're doing. You're going to start making some money. You're going to start helping some families and just approach this business with the right heart. For me, it took Grant Reynolds SoundCloud uh, uh, falling from or yeah, falling from 14,000 feet, right, to change the way that I was approaching this business, right? Because I needed to love the people that I was on the other side with. So there's a change that has to happen. So don't quit, invest in yourself. And uh, yeah, just just grind away. You got this. Incredible. Joe, real quick. Yeah, you know, I, I would just say is allow yourself to, to believe in the symmetry system. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big dreamer and a big visionist, right? So when you join symmetry, just just go with it, right? Like allow yourself to have a vision and allow yourself to change your vision, right? Because when, when you first come into this, right? Your vision is usually your income, right? I, I need to replace what I've already been making and allow your, allow that vision to be true, right? Like, hey, if I wanna, if I need to make six figures, allow yourself to make your six figures, right? And allow yourself to change that because I've changed my vision so many times and it will change just because of where you're at, right? The environment that symmetry allows you to be in, right? Now that, that we're at a higher contract level, the vision has changed, right? We're closer to the top than the bottom now. And seeing the 120, right? Seeing someone in our organization getting close to a 120 and what vision that can allow our families to have, right? Like I, I couldn't be more pumped, more excited to know that, you know, when, when one of our team members get to 120, because 120 is in the vision, that's going to happen, right? But knowing that when one of our agents hits 120, what that does for my family, right? Like it, it, it's the bonus, right? The equity share that, that will be there for the rest of our lives, right? And, and like, I, I get goosebumps still, right? Like thinking when that happens and now it's a year away, like within a year, we, you know, as an organization, we can start getting 120s, you know, to that level and what that will do for the rest of our lives for our family. It, it, it's so exciting. I've never been in a company that allowed us to dream this big. And, and that's what I, I share, right? When I say vision, allow yourself to come in here and have the biggest vision you can possibly want, right? Allow yourself to have a vision that you never thought could, could, you know, be in fruition from a company that you've joined. And it, it, it's just amazing because my vision can be, you know, uh, of helping our agents right now and, and getting to a 120 level. But next year, right, if symmetry just keeps making it so much better, right, that vision continues to grow. And it's just so exciting. And I hope all the new agents here just, you know, 
allow yourself to have a huge vision with symmetry because it's one of the most exciting it is the most exciting place i've ever been in my life so i, I just again thank you all for this opportunity thank you guys so much thank you thank you both uh all yeah. of you that, this was amazing i i love I got so chill I love, bumps over here yeah yeah I, lo I love what you said about allow your vision to change and uh that's necessary right you know high performing leaders look in a certain direction and can adjust as they're going there. And so it's not so important to have the plan all mapped out. I love that. So, man, appreciate you guys big time. This is wonderful. So good. And, and Joe, what you just said, I just want to harp on because we talked on the builder's call. Another thing that blows the minds of potential people wanting to join our organization is the way you become the wealthiest and most successful here is by hiring people to get to your level and get them there as fast as possible. It doesn't make sense. Everything that they've ever come from, spread drops, there's no way to make more money. I have to, I have to give somebody a five point raise, a 10 point raise, but then I have, to, I have to stop giving them raises because I lose my income. The system is insane, guys. You guys hit on it so well. Thank you all so much. Incredible call, so much intention, so many nuggets. Appreciate you so all greatly, and we'll see you all next week. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. Thank you all.